During the mid-90s, Brandy Norwood's career was on a high note. She was also in an intense relationship with boys two men, Hanya Morris. Though their romance started out on a high note, it eventually came to a dramatic end due to Hanya Lai's deceit and a messy love triangle. So what really happened between Brandy Adina and Hanya that eventually ended Adina's career before it even began? Make sure to stay tuned for the video. Hello everyone welcome back to the nosysoutherner.com. At just 15 years old, Brandy had developed strong feelings for boys to men's lead singer Hanya Morris who's six years her senior. The two crossed paths when Hanya invited her to be the opening act on the group's 1995 national tour. Though she was hesitant to express her feelings for him at first, the singer slash actress eventually drew up the courage to tell Morris how she felt. She stated I just told him that I loved him and thanked him for making me feel the way I feel because I had never felt that way before. He was just like wow. The relationship took a transition, and we became a couple. I was on a high. It was love, real love. The broken-hearted collaborators carried on an intense relationship for years but kept their romance hidden from prying eyes due to Brandy's budding career. While Morris was still dating Brandy, he began hanging out with singer Adina Howard, who rose to fame in the mid-1990s with her debut album Do You Wanna Ride and her debut single Freak Like Me. After her label executive Sylvia Rohn heard about the drama field love affair between the three, Adina was told to focus on her career and let the relationship with Wanya go. It's for Adina not to focus on Wanya because we're focusing on the second record and to focus mainly on that and not him. So instead of breaking it off, Wanya decided to give Brandy the boot. Just one month shy of her 19th birthday, Morris called it a quits from Brandy due to him falling in love with Adina. Brandy stated, he fell in love with someone else. The worst feeling is to be in love all by yourself. That feels messed up. It does and that's the only way I can really put it. It felt like somebody had completely taken my heart out of my body and just crushed it. Once gossip queen Wendy Williams caught wind that there was a scandal between Adina Brandy and the cheating Hanya and she gave Adina a call. According to the radio show producer Billy Moss, Adina opened up like she normally would except she had some choice words in there for Sylvia and for Brandy. During an episode of Unsung, Adina admitted her choice words for Sylvia were inappropriate. She stated, I said something very inappropriate about the head of the label. Wendy Williams caught wind of it, called Adina, and Adina opened up like she normally would, except for she had some choice words in there for Sylvia and for Brandy. Well, that pissed Sylvia off. She was on fire. You can be a boss on your record, but don't be a boss to the boss that makes your records. <laughs> I'm afraid you to make your record. You know, you got two queens in one castle. The one who writes the check is going to win. As a result, the release date for Adina's album was delayed indefinitely. I said something very inappropriate about the head of the label, and she pulled up the emergency brake, shut everything down. Don't forget to leave your comments and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, have a good day, BYE.